Here we go with another unboxing video. So this is the new Skullvane Mance, um, giant piece of Warhammer scenery. Um, See so things to point out here. There's a bit of a there's an option here. You can put a little watchtower or uh, like a castle tower, made in China. Um, and uh, yeah, let's see what's inside the box here. So it's a giant box. It's probably one of the bigger ones I've seen, and it's kind of a reinforced style. So. Um, GW likes to release these big kits just before Christmas. And so uh, here we go. So first off, we've got uh, sort of the base, I guess. And there's no sprue for that. And it's going to go something like this. So already we can see it's quite large. Uh, and then we've got an instruction booklet. So um, looks pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy here. And let's see what's underneath this divider. Okay, so um, big sprue and uh, three small sprues. Okay, so details that we have here. So here's the, uh, the observatory sort of tower. And it's got, um, let's see, there's the lens there. And another uh, rooftop. Um, this looks like the the, the uh, option here, the other tower, and the uh, the bottom for it. Of course, we have uh, lots of skulls everywhere, and some uh, two-tailed comets. There's the rest of that tower. Um, looks like it's done sort of on the same types of sprues as most of the other scenery stuff. So it's uh, it's not quite as fine um, detail as a uh, miniatures are, like the regular guys, the troops, but um, plenty of detail for scenery. Um, not a ton of, over, well, it's the same amount of skulls as everything else, I guess. And uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. Can't wait to put it together. Um, so for size comparison, what do we have here to show you? So I just, I just put together the mangler squigs, so uh, they're obviously quite large, um, but uh, that gives you an idea there. So that doorway is not quite big enough for a mangler to get in, but this is going to be a pretty cool piece of scenery once it's all done and on the tabletop. So uh, yeah, there'll be probably a little bit of filling in here, but that's to be expected with these large pieces, and uh, it's not too hard to do that, but um, this is actually going to be pretty cool. A nice uh, centerpiece of the table doesn't take up too much of a footprint, so uh, it'll be easy to include it. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Put your comments below. And check out my blog. It's like watching paintdry.blogspot.com. If you have any suggestions for uh, other stuff you'd like to see, and uh, any uh, future projects, I've got uh, lots of 40k fantasy and um, a bunch of armies for each of them. See you next time.